So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you something utterly broken. Check this out. Now this is just the, a standard crossbow. Okay, I'm using the pulley so I'll shoot out three bolts at a time. But I'll just lock onto his leg, I'll shoot it. Damage is going to be about a thousand. There you go, 1,040. Simple as that. Now check this out guys. This is where things get crazy. You ready? You ready? Look at that damage. Look at that damage. What is actually going on there? What? Check it out again. Look at the damage. I mean, that was one bolt because he moved. You ready? Look at that damage, people. And today, guys, I will explain it all and how you can do this simple little trick in making any boss in this game be a piece of cake. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this simple trick is actually tricking the game into actually believing, or what it's doing is it's shooting jar cannon bolts with the power of that jar cannon out of a crossbow. That's what it's doing. So you get damage like that. Look at that health guys. Look at his health. <laughs> there what the? and it's a simple trick it is a simple simple trick okay so all you need to do this is the jar cannon level it up don't have to be max level a crossbow and the pulley is the best because it shoots three arrows at a time so you get triple the damage but any crossbow will do level it up then all you need guys is bolts and also you need the memory of grace equipped simple as that if you want to boost your damage you can make this even crazier this is great for this uh, that's great for it obviously um, I'll use this to just do, I'll just test him with this to boost damage but you can use so many different things guys you can use seals you can use polish you can use whatever you want you can make this absolutely crazy and how it works is so so easy now what is that there that dropped by a ghost let's see oh no okay let me just reset and I'll explain again how this well I'll explain how this works it's, it's just stupid guys so all you need really is like I said, you need a jar cannon, a crossbow, and a memory of grace. Make sure the memory of grace is equipped as you can see it right down there at the bottom, bottom left of your screen. Um, jar cannon in your right hand, a crossbow in your left hand. Then all you need to do guys is, <laughs> all you need to do is guys, um, apply the uh, bolts to your crossbow as I just did by pressing on console. It's left bomb pad or L1. So the bolts are now ready. All I then do is hold, lock on, and then press the memory of grace button. That is all you got to do. So charge the bolts, lock on, press the memory of grace button. Well, that, they went through his legs somehow, but yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so charge, lock on, memory of grace, ba 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 ba. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. I'll show you quicker. Boop, boop, simple simple as that guys and once you get this down you can do this so so fast it's unbelievable and i don't know what it's actually i think the game's just tricking itself into believing that your your crossbow is shooting jar cannon powered arrows and that's all that's happening now you don't have to two hand any of these just have the jar cannon in your right hand crossbow in your left hand charge the bolts by pressing l1 or left bumper as i just did press and hold l1 or left bumper so you can see it i got out my waist and then you just press that memory of grace button which is square or x depending on what you play on simple as that and when that when that comes up you can press it no straight away you ain't gotta wait for none of that you can press it straight away i'm gonna demonstrate it again on this big guy here now obviously you could probably make this even stronger with different bolts as well but it's simple and it doesn't you don't actually have to have anything um applied for the jar cannon to be used i tried and tested that it didn't seem to make any difference to me as you can see all i've got is i just got bolts there i mean i thought about putting these here it doesn't make any difference that i can see uh simple so yeah it's that simple and um, so yeah what you do is guys so i'm locking onto him i lock onto his stomach charge the bolts press and hold press your thingy and there you go actually that one hit his arm let me, do, let me do that again. I want to kill this mom. So, charge your bolts, lock on, press your memory of grace, and there we go. There we go. Now, if I use buffs, I can make this way more powerful, like I said. I can destroy this dude instantly, which I'm going to do in a second. I'm going to kill him first. 
So I'm, gonna, I'm shooting at bow and arrows here. I ain't even locking onto him. So I've got him lock on. Back, back, back. Dead. So I'm going to go back to the grace. I'm going to reset. I'm going to use the buffs I've got to see how much damage I can do quick. Because it is utterly crazy, guys. Like I said, when you get this down, it is broken. It is broken. So what I've actually got here, I've got the two, um, well, these are actually decent. Got that on. Got that on. I don't even know why. I've got a potion, but I don't think it's going to do much, to be honest. But I am going to use this, which gives me a bit more of that power. So I'm going to use that. I'm just going to pop it anyway. I'm just going to pop it, people. Let's put you away. I'm going to use that. So I'm going to see what I can do here. See what I can do here. Jar cannons already. Bolt them up. Chuk, chuk. Lock on. Press and hold L1 or left bumper. Press that. There you go. It's almost 6,000 damage. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. Check that out. So again, guys, all you do is load up them bolts like that. Press and hold L1 or left bumper. Lock onto your target. And then just press your memory grace button. And that's all. Look at that damage. Jesus. That's with the buffs, though. That's why that's happening. So charge, lock, well, press and lock on. Memory grace, bam. Simple. Absolutely ridiculous, guys. And it really is that easy. So yes, jar cannon, I'll put a guide to in the video description if you ain't got that. The pulley crossbow is found. I, like I cropped my hard drive, I lost all my data, but it's somewhere up here, but I get it. I'll find a guide, I'll link it in the video description. In regards to the talismans I'm using, um, the arrow sting talisman raise the attack power of arrows and bolts and the ritual sword talisman again I'll try and find guides and I'll link them in the video description people but yep again quick little demonstration make sure your memory grace is slotted there um, so you can bring it up charge and uh, ready your your, bolt, your crossbow press and hold L1 or left bumper lock onto your target using your right thumb stick and then guys just press that memory grace button and that's it it really is as simple as that so it's be square or x to press the memory grace button and the game's tricked into i don't even know thinking that you're shooting bolts out of your, your jar cannon but they come out much much quicker and it's just it's just ridiculous guys the amount of damage you can do is unbelievable as you saw and there we have it guys if you have any questions leave them below and i'll try and answer them but guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I will see you on that next one.